In this video, I will explain what the purpose is of a tag and how to store a message in a transaction. This is the IOTA Light Wallet. When you create a transaction, you can enter a tag. For example, you can enter the tag IOTA in this field. The transaction object tag field has the value IOTA, as you can see over here. The transaction object tag field is used to search transactions for a specific tag value. Here is a value transaction example with the tag mfish tag. This is the value transaction. The transaction bundle consists of four transactions. This is the first transaction, and here you see the tag mfish tag. Again, mfish tag, mfish tag and mfish tag. The tag is used in all transactions within the transaction bundle. If a transaction is reattached, the new created transaction will have the same tag. Use the Tangle Explorer, the tangle.org, and search for the tag mfish tag. Enter mfish tag and press the search button. Here are all the transactions with the tag mfish tag. As you can see over here, let's open another one. Again, mfish tag. And another one, mfish tag. Not all Tangle Explorers can search all tags. The above mentioned Tangle Explorer stores the full Tangle history. The transaction object tag field always contains 27 trites. Create a tag by using only the characters A to Z and the number 9. Spaces in the tag are not allowed. For example, hello space world is not allowed. If the tag is empty, the field contains all 9s. You cannot use a Tangle Explorer to search transactions for a specific message. I will later explain what messages are. You can only search for a specific tag. In JavaScript, to search transactions for a specific tag, Use the Find Transaction Objects API call. With the IOTA Light Wallet, it is not possible to enter a message. This is my simple IOTA Wallet. Use this application only for educational purpose. If you use it for any other purpose, it may result in losing all your IOTAs. To use this tool, copy the web page on your computer. Open the downloaded web page in your browser. Next, select the option Make a value slash data transaction. Select an endpoint. Let's select this endpoint, for example. Select this option to enter your seed, or select this option to create a seed. Let's create a seed. After you created a seed, press the store button. The seed is stored in the browser session storage. This is a seed checksum. Press the clear button and enter the address, for example this. You can enter amount, enter a message, for example hello. The message is not a JSON message, that's correct. You can enter tag, my tag. In this example, I'm not entering an amount. And press the button send transaction. Enter the tag, my tag. Press the button, send transaction. And you can see a transaction is created. Here is the tag, my tag. The message hello is stored in the signature message fragment field in this field. It is a zero value transaction. Let's copy this transaction hash. Let's go to the tangle.org. Enter the transaction hash, press the search button. As you can see, this is a tag, and you will see the message hello. With this simple wallet, you can create transactions. Use this tool only for educational purpose. Never use online seed generators like this. I have created this seed generator for educational purpose. If you use this online seed generator, 
you will lose all your IOTAs. The message is stored in the transaction object signature message fragment field. The signature message fragment field always contains 2187 trites. 2187 trites converted to bytes is approximately the same as 1.27 kilobytes. In case of a value transaction, in a transaction that spent IOTA where the value is smaller than zero, the signature is stored in the signature message fragment field. Subsequent transactions where the value is equal to zero, the signature message fragment fields are part of the signature. Here is a value transaction example. The signature is fragmented and stored in two transactions, in current index 1 and 2. This is the value transaction. As you can see over here, one IOTA is sent to this address. The value is negative, which means this transaction will spend IOTA. This is the signature stored in the signature message fragment field. This is the first part of the signature. This is the second part of the signature. In case of a data transaction, a zero value transaction is created and the message is stored in the signature message fragment field, which I have demonstrated earlier using my simple IOTA wallet. Subsequent transactions where the value is equal to zero, the signature message fragment fields are part of the message. Here are three examples. For each example, I will demonstrate how the transaction was created. This is the first data transaction example. The text message is stored in one transaction. This is a transaction bundle. The text message, this one, is stored in one transaction. The value is zero. This is the address. And I have entered the tag message test A. How is this transaction created? First, go to my simple IOTA wallet. I've selected this endpoint. I have entered my seed. I have entered the recipient address. I have entered amount of zero IOTAs. I have entered the following text message. I have used this text message. I am copying these lines. I'm not copying the last line. And paste the text message in this text box. I'm selecting message is not a JSON message. That is correct, it is not a JSON message. I'm pressing this button, check message validity. As you can see over here, the message contains 2,162 trites, and this message will be stored in one transaction. And I'm entering the tag message test A. And when you press the send transaction button, you will get this transaction bundle. If you want to convert this message to original format, copy it. Go to my simple IOTA wallet, select Utilities, select the option Convert Trites to String, press Clear, and paste the copied values. Press Convert, and you can see the message. This is a second data transaction example. The text message is fragmented and stored in two transactions. This is the second data transaction example. This transaction bundle consists of two transactions. This is transaction one, and this is the second transaction. The text message is fragmented and stored in two transactions. This is the first part of the text message, and this is the second part of the text message. And I have entered the tag message test B, and the value is zero. I will now show you how this transaction bundle is created. Again, go to my simple IOTA wallet. I've selected this endpoint. I've entered my seed. I've entered the recipient address. The amount is zero. And enter the following message. This is the text message. Copy all lines. And paste the message in this text box. I have selected message is not a JSON message. Press the check message validity. As you can see, the message contains 2,246 trites, and the message will be fragmented and stored in two transactions. I enter the tag message test B. If you press the send transaction button, the transaction bundle is created. 
this transaction bundle. If you want to convert this message to its original form, copy this value, paste the value in this text box, go to the second fragment, copy the fragment, paste the fragment, Make sure there are no spaces between the two fragments. Press the Convert button. As you can see, the message is converted. This is the third data transaction example. The JSON message is stored in one transaction. This is data transaction example three. In this example, I'm using a JSON message. And the JSON message is stored in one transaction. This transaction bundle consists only of one transaction. This is the JSON message converted to trites. It is a zero value transaction and I have entered the tag message test C. I will now show you how this transaction bundle is created. This is a demonstration JSON message. Copy this JSON message. Go back to my simple IOTA wallet. I'm using the same settings as before. Paste the JSON message in the text box. Select the last option. Press the button, check message validity. This message contains 1,742 trites and the message will be stored in one transaction. Change the tag to message test C. And the amount is zero. If I press the send transaction button, I will get this transaction bundle. If I want to convert this message to its original format, copy this message. Go back to my simple IOTA wallet, select the utilities option, select convert trites to string, paste the value in this text box, and press the convert button. And this is the JSON message. There is an easier way to get your original message back. Copy the tail transaction hash. Go back to my simple IOTA wallet. Select this option, get bundle and message from tail transaction hash. Select an end node. Clear the text field. And press the button, get bundle. At the end, you will see the message. You can do the same thing for the text message. Let's do the same thing for the second example. Copy the tail transaction hash. Again, paste the tail transaction hash in this text box and press the button Get Bundle. Text message was stored in two transactions and here is the complete text message. First, I have demonstrated a value transaction where one iota is sent to another address. Then I have demonstrated how data transactions are created. This is done by creating a zero value transaction with a message. Now I will combine a value and a data transaction. Here are two examples. I will not demonstrate how these transactions are created. By now, it should be obvious how it is done. I will only show you the transaction bundles. Value plus data transaction examples. This is the first example. The message is stored in one transaction. This is the first example. One iota is sent to another address. This is the tag used. And this is the short message which is stored in the transaction. As you can see over here, one iota is sent to this address. This is the message hello world. Here is a tag. This is the transaction where IOTA is spent because this value is negative. This value is the signature. And this is the second part of the signature. This is the second example where the message is stored in two transactions. This is the second example. One IOTA is sent to another address. This is the tag used. This is the message stored in the transaction. One iota is sent to this address. This is the first part of the message. This is the second part of the message. 
This value is negative, which means this transaction spent IOTA. This is the first part of the signature. This is the second part of the signature. If the signature message fragment is empty, the field contains all nines. If the signature or message is longer than 2187 trites, the signature or message are fragmented and stored over multiple transactions in the transaction bundle. But be aware that each single transaction inside the transaction bundle consists of 2,673 trites, which is approximately 1.55 kilobytes. If you have a message that is 20 kilobytes in size, this message is fragmented and stored in 20 divided by 1.27 is 16 transactions inside the transaction bundle. The total transaction bundle size is 16 times 1.55, equals approximately 25 kilobytes. Also, for each of these 16 transactions, a proof of work has to be done. The signature message fragment field can only store trite values. The IOTA JavaScript library has a method called iota.util.toTrites, which converts ASCII characters to trites. You can store any data in the signature message fragment field by first base64 encode the data. The base64 data only contains the characters capital letter A to Z, lowercase a to Z, the numbers 0 to 9, the plus sign, the forward slash sign, and the equal sign. The base64 data can now be converted to trites using the iota.util to trites method. So you can start with any data, for instance an image or PDF file, whatever. The base64 encoder uses this data as input and converts this data into a base64 data containing these characters. Next, you use the iota.util to trites method to convert this data to trites. To restore the message to its original format, use the iota.util from trites method to convert trites to its base64 representation. Then use Base64 decoder to convert the data to its original format. The iota.util.fromTrites method uses trites as input and convert it to a string, which is a Base64 data. The Base64 decoder uses the Base64 data and convert it to its original data format. If the original message only contains ASCII characters, you can skip the Base64 encoding and decoding. The iota.util to trites method uses ASCII values as input and convert it to trites. The iota.util from trites method uses trites as input and convert it into ASCII values. The message stored in the signature message fragment field is not encrypted. If the message is fragmented and stored in multiple transactions, you can manually restore the raw trite message by concatenating all fragments starting with the transaction with current index 0 inside the transaction bundle. I have already demonstrated this. Just like a value transaction, a data transaction can be confirmed by the Tangle network. If you create a data transaction and you want to prove that this data exists on the Tangle or that there are no other conflicting data, then make sure this transaction is confirmed. A snapshot is assigned to reduce the size of the Tangle to reduce memory burden on nodes. When full nodes apply snapshots, they only store the final account balances. Metadata, such as tags and messages, are deleted. A permanote is a node that stores the entire Tangle history permanently and securely. Permanotes don't apply snapshots. The Tangle Explorer, the Tangle.org, is a permanote, but the transactions are only searchable through their website. In the future, permanotes will be available and probably they will be incentivized by pay per query. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.